Alright, so hello everyone and welcome to the Corn Kids 64. I am very excited for this game because it's been on my wishlist for a while. And yeah, without further ado, let's jump into the new game. Oh boy, the natural dream again. I sure seem to end up here a lot these days. How did I get here anyways? Oh right, this is a dream? Eh, who cares, nachos. Also, hello Onyx. Nice to see you arrive, as you can see. This game is heavily based in the Nintendo 64 era of gaming and I am very very excited because I think this will be quite fun. I suppose let's go inside. Lexis Monster Park, what the heck? This ain't Nacho Emporium, what is going on here? Hi, Steve. Huh? Oh, it's Alexis. Where is this place, Alexis? This is my park. What do you think? Isn't it cool? It looks cool. Like if I take one step in this place, I will get eaten by some inflatable clown demon. Aha, no, come on. I made up this park so we can train our corn powers. How many times I got a tell ya? Ain't no such thing as corn powers. We are just developmentally crippled mutant goats. All the experts agree. No way, we totally have corn powers. Like you know, you can do a headbutt in the air by jumping and pressing the action button. That's just cause this is a dream. Normal goats can do whatever they want in a dream and all I can do is that. And oh yeah, this is a dream, now all this dumb crap makes sense. Anyway, I'm getting out of here. Where did the door go? Oh, it's up there now. See it? What? How does that make any sense? Oh right, I almost forgot already. Um, anyway. I made sure to put up lots of sticky notes that tell you how to use everything in the park. So make sure to read all of them by pressing the action button. That's the button to left of the jump button, by the way. I hope you know where that is. Then you can get up there for sure. Alrighty then, well that sounds like a plan. Uh, let me quickly just volume this slightly there we go i hope the volume for the steam sounds about right by the looks of things i might need to increase it a little bit that seems about right maybe a little bit more yeah that seems about right okay well Let's look around. Is there, by the way, option to disable the freaking inverted camera? There we go. Because that really grinds my gears when the camera is inverted. If you jump onto a wall, you can jump again, grab the ledge, then jump up a third time. Just like on the ground, remember to keep the jump button held down for a higher jump. I see, alrighty, alrighty. Seems like we picked up some sort of AQ. This is a XP queue. If you get enough to fill the XP meter, it will open up new areas. I also didn't realize this whole game takes place in a dream. That's pretty interesting. Climb the ladder by jumping up the ranks. Alrighty then. Ain't that just freaking adorable? We have the freaking slide over here. 
Press the zoom button to zoom out the camera for a better view from above. That would be the button to the right of the jump button. Hold the R button to center the camera behind you. Hold the R trigger to get a closer look around. I'm holding it down, nothing is happening. Oh, they mean this one, okay. Okay, we can have like a top-down view, interesting. You know what, I I think I prefer it zoomed out. Basic buttons, tee Press action button in the air to headbutt forwards. Press L trigger in the air to headbutt downwards. Press L trigger on the ground to crouch and press jump to headbutt upwards. Hold L, L trigger to press action to headbutt forward on the ground. Seems a bit confusing, not gonna lie. I assume this is what they mean by headbutt. Oh, this is how you do it up upstairs. Okay, okay. Oh, and this is how you stomp. Alrighty, alrighty. How do I get over here to that node? Or maybe can I push this? Doesn't seem like I can. Let's see what this is. Do not headbutt this button. Yep, looks like it's time to headbutt that button. Yes, that is what is called reverse psychology. You actually are supposed to headbutt it. Now I don't want to do it anymore. Well, of course I freaking missed. Definitely a skill shoot. That's how we get the paper over there. Let's see what this is. You can wall jump off surface even after you headbutt into it. Climb up this rock, then headbutt to the next one and jump to the ledge. Of course I did it wrong, of course, of course. Am I missing something? Okay, I did it, let's freaking go. Do they want me to go over there from here? I think so, I think so. Before we go up there though, let me check what's in the trash can. One out of eight, alrighty, alrighty. I'm gonna try to make this a completionist playthrough, so probably all the achievements and such. There we go. Some Pepsi, I love to see it. Love to see a bunch of Pepsi. Let's see what this is. While on the ground, you can press the action button to punch. I cannot imagine why you would want to do such a thing, but you can. Sometimes you gotta keep punching over and over to, to, to knock the enemy out. Not that I would ever condone such a thing, but they are carrying soda, just saying. Also, that ball over there just move. What the heck? What do I do with you? I suppose killing works. Alrighty, alrighty. Let me let me guess. This is for healing. This machine will give you delicious dream soda. This is important to refill your soda meter, cause if you lose all your soda you die. Just insert 349. Oop, too bad, looks like I forgot my wallet. And also forgot my pants to put a wallet in. Guess I will just have to headbutt it instead. Please don't try to get soda by headbutting the machine, that could break it. Yeah, I'm still gonna do it. Sounds like a plan. And look at that, it freaking works, what's this? Headbutt into a crank and repeatedly press attack button to spin it. Um, but you have to have a crank on there to spin first, I think, probably. It's 
missing the crank. I figured I would try anyway. If you see something with a target on it like this, try and headbutt it. Something might happen or it might not. It kinda depends. Right again. Nothing is happening. Maybe they mean this one. No. I am having skill issues. Also, thank you for the waffle and such. It's gonna take me a while to get used to these controls, I think. Ooh, there we go. There are ledges in walls you can climb onto. Climb to the end of the ledge and keep holding left to jump to the pipes. Then hold left or right while climbing the pipes to jump to other pipes. Seems easy enough. Let's see what's this way. Can I? Doesn't seem like I can get anywhere. This seems like the way to go, to be honest. Did we read this one? Action button while swimming to dive underwater, hold down jump button underwater to swim. You can headbutt underwater too. Don't forget you have to breathe sometimes though. Don't you hate it when you accidentally forget to breathe? Oh, it's a bouncy thing, okay. Hmm. You can bounce on some objects, press L trigger to do a slam but and bounce higher. Not this bash though, I mean this, this springy guy. Ooh, I see how it works, okay, okay. Let me go back up there. I think that's what we need to do. I'm a little confused that there isn't a double jump. Probably confusing me more than it should. Slam into the screw above, then press action button a bunch of times to unscrew. Makes me dizzy. Very important message alarm. Please imagine the Weibo noise here. If you just ran off the edge from here, you are gonna fall on your face and get hurt. The key to getting down safely is to push the analog stick lightly to walk off the ledge. Then you can grab the ledge and press L trigger to slide down. If you don't understand this, you are gonna fall so many times that, uh, that the gravity will be jealous. So jealous that he will kill you. Okay. Sounds like a plan. So this is a screw. What did that do? Oh wait, do I need to spam the button or something? I think I might be, maybe have to. No, oh my god. Okay. Let's be careful. There we go, we got some experience out of it. Now let me try to walk off. Oh, I did it correctly, I think. Nice. Can I talk to you again? Did you read all of the sticky notes? Can't you just tell me what to do right now? Ah, no, I want through all the trouble to write all those sticky notes. Please read them, although, unlike the notes, I might tell you something else if you talk to me again. The path leading to the top is through there, in case you didn't know. See, wasn't that useful? So remember to talk to me twice in case you are ever stuck. Alrighty, alrighty. So that's gonna be the tutorial, in case we get lost, seems like a plan. You can do a headbutt even in a different direction than the you are jumping in. See if you can jump past this white pillar, then headbutt the wall to the right and jump up. Okay. Kind of, kind of. Kind of, kind of. 
Let's try again. There we go. Second try. And what the heck are you? You are Perich. That's what you are. And what's this? Another level up. Experience. We are still level 1. Seems like we need a lot of those. To get anywhere. Would be fun to. I wonder if the bubbles are related to anything. They seem a bit suspicious. You can head butt upwards also. Just hold the tringy and jump. Yeah. That's not how you do it. This is how you do it. Okay. But how do I get up there now? I suppose like this. Jump off a wall in the other direction to grab the ledge above. You can only do it once though. Hey everyone, else can do that infinitely times. Why can I only do one? If you are in an area where it seems you cannot control the camera, just press zoom button to zoom it back in. Then you can see everything again. I actually much much prefer it being zoomed out to be honest. There was experience thingy hidden over there. Cool. Um, what was the button to do this? Okay. Okay, I think there was only one thing down there. A little bit of an obstacle course. Don't mind if I do. Seems like we are about to leave this area. There is also something over there on the wall. No idea. Let's just go up and see where this takes us. Okay, here we are. Seems like headbutting the enemies doesn't really help you that much. Might as well just punch them, I suppose. Can I break this? Yes, I can. That's an interesting enemy. I don't, I'm not sure where this leads. There is some stuff over here that needs to get done. There is also a screw over here in the wall. Let's see what this does. Okay, it gives you a wall, but only temporarily. Okay, okay, okay. Hmm, let's go check where this leads. This seems like maybe a side area. Ooh, oh, hello there. It's a long distance jump. How the heck am I supposed to do this one? Unless I can do like this. Nope, doesn't seem to work. This also doesn't seem to work. I think it might be something to do with us just charging over there, you know. Holy moly, I did it. I will consider that extremely lucky. Because let's be honest, that's what it is. Let's go check where this leads. If I can get up there. We did it once before. I think we can do it again. That was almost it. The issue is you cannot really jump again. After doing the headbutt. Hmm, 
I might be missing some crucial lore or something about how to do these jumps. Can I wall jump multiple times by the way? No, you can only do it once I think, yeah. This seems doable though, this seems very very doable. See, that was very close, that was very close. Man, will this game be full of these hard to pull off jumps? I really hope it isn't. Because I am terrible at these. That was almost it, holy moly. Post office is closed, dang. But it does sound like quite the issue. You know what, I give up. Let's go check where this thingy leads. Oh yeah, I forgot I need to spam the button. There we go. Number two out of eight. Cool. It's a very long jump. I figured I wouldn't be able to do it. That's all right. Let's do this. There we go. Nice and steady. You cannot really jump that far. I just noticed. Really need to headbutt everywhere if you reach the distance. Okay. That was badly timed, completely my fault. I swear. I'm try trying my best. There we go, nice. What's this? This zipline will get you back down safely. You don't really need it here since you can also slide down the wall, but try it anyways. Maybe later. Ooh, this one goes into the wall. Interesting. This is a XP crystal. It's worth 10 whole XP, but you gotta break it first. Okay, okay. Oh, I see. You need to headbutt it. There is a trash can over there. You might not be able to get past here yet. Don't forget to come back later. Ah, so we need a power up to get through the fence. Alrighty, alrighty. How do we get to the trash can? Though? Holy moly, I almost fell. Okay, I have no idea. Maybe we do need to come back later. There is also the thingy over there. Let's try this zipline thingy. Would be cool if it was a permanent shortcut, you know. That would be really, really cool. Why didn't he grab the ledge? I was there. I was freaking there. Holy moly. Okay, well. I don't think I can make this jump. I might need some sort of a power-up or something. Yeah, probably, probably. So let's get out of here for now. This seems like an area where we need to go later, maybe. I assume I went in a bit too early, maybe. 
I wonder what that thingy is over there. That is kind of out of my reach though, so I'm not gonna even try to grab it at the moment. I might try some other time. I suppose instead of dealing with these... Uh, what seems to be out of reach areas, we should focus on the one where we are supposed to go. And in order to do that, we need to find a lever somewhere, and I assume it's gonna be underwater, maybe. So let's do that. Let's go check underwater. I hope the fish don't kill me. Okay, let's go for oxygen. There is a gate over there. I'm gonna try to headbutt it. Maybe something will happen. Nope, that didn't work. Alrighty then, alrighty then. Let me go grab the experience over here. Let's go up for more oxygen. There is definitely stuff over here as well. Let me go check what this is though. It's like a button of some kind. Oh, that opens the door. Alrighty. Does it stay open forever is the real question. Seems like it does. Okay, okay. Okay, okay, okay. Let's see where this leads. Mirror, mirror on the wall. This crazy mirror is worth 10 XP. Whoa. It's not enough to just break it though, you have to complete the challenge inside. This might be too advanced for you now, it doesn't hurt to try to. P.S. Oh wait, I just remembered, it actually does hurt to try. Maybe you should just stay here in the park where it's safe. Hmm. You can't tell me what to do. Oh, that's freaking cool. That reminds me of Alice Madness Returns, where you sometimes can enter the seashells and such for a challenge inside. I immediately freaking perish. Holy moly. Let's try again, though. Doesn't seem like it's gonna be too difficult. And you are guessing they are closed because of the weather. Honestly, I would be closed too if it was a uh, hot summer heat. Okay, nice. Nice, nice, nice. No, it spawned when I was over there, what the heck? I'm surprised how far we got then. Yo, that's another one of those screws, thingies. Spikes, I suppose. What do I do over here? You can stand on them, okay. Interesting. Another one is over there. I might be able to do this challenge for well, second try. Which is pretty cool. Yay indeed! We learned something valuable. Uh, that screw we saw at the top somewhere, we can definitely jump on and use it to boost ourselves further up. Not really sure where. Oh my god, it's that guy from Muppets. I forgot his name. Oscar the Grouch? Is, is that Oscar the Grouch? Maybe, maybe. Hey, you there! Ah, a puppet. My name is the Garbage Crumb, 
And how would you like to be an official garbage key tier? Um, it's easy, just knock over 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 8 garbages to help make the world a more trashyful place. Okay, I think I found one already. No dog, this one doesn't count, I'm using it for things. Now get out of here, don't come back till you are done. So this is where we will go when we collect all the garbage, alrighty. One, two, three, A, B, C, A, B. I think you made a mistake there, sir, but alrighty, alrighty. I suppose that's everything in this cave, so if we have the trash cans, I hope I will remember to go back down here and uh, see what we can do with those. Okay, let's go check what's over here. I see something over here and a bird. I bet the bird is peaceful. Let's read the note. A Bombay bird will hatch from this egg. Headbutt him and he will be stuck on your horn. Jump and headbutt towards him to home in. Hold R trigger to aim, then press action button to fire and he will explode. Or hold L trigger to crouch and then press action for a short run. Please try to explode him gently though. If I am reading that right, we are about to penetrate this bird and mind, mind control him somehow. Sounds painful. I missed. I missed again, god dang it. Holy moly, can you stop moving? We freaking penetrated him, go oh, my goodness. That poor bird didn't stand a chance. Some XP is buried underground, don't expect me to teach you how to dig it out though. I don't know if you can yet, maybe it's something you will learn about later on. So that's yet another collectible we need to come back for. Alright. Understood, understood. I hope I will remember to do so. This rock looked like it could be correct, but apparently not. Although maybe, maybe, if we use the bird, something will happen, you know, maybe. Can you stop for a moment, sir, please? Let me penetrate you. Let me penetrate you, don't run away. Holy moly. He really doesn't want to get penetrated. There we go. It was breakable, I was correct. Holy moly. Well, there you go, another XP. Speaking of which, that boulder over there must get penetrated as well. I mean exploded. For sure. Let's see what this says. A comfy mattress will cushion your fall. No way I may touching that thing. Who knows how much hobo urines it's done soaked up. P.S. Don't worry about hobo urines. This is fresh out of the mattress factory. Eh, fine, I suppose it does have that lemony scented freshness. Headbutt a boot spare, and you can jump really high. You can even jump again after using it, I think. Alrighty then. I trust you. Ooh, okay. Treasure chest. Please don't just run off the ledge and fall on your face. Press the analog stick lightly to walk and tiptoe that you can grab onto the ledge again. Press yeah, yeah, yeah. I see the ledge. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
Treasure, I wonder what's inside. Jump and headbutt to unscrew it. It's actually a crank that's inside and you need that to use it to open that door. Well, so much for the surprise. Yo, they ruined the surprise. I guess it'd be like that sometimes. Treasure, I wonder what's inside. Didn't I just read that? You know what's inside? Me. I am the surprise. Okay, let's go this way. What's this? Hold down the L button if you need to see what is directly below you. Or hold R button and press zoom. Yeah, yeah, yeah. there is the mattress. I am aware. Okay, I see. All for the experience. And this is the end of this segment, I assume. Before anything, let me headbutt the bird again. Because I want to take him over to that rock. I'm assuming we can take him underwater, but who knows. Why is it so hard to headbutt a bird? Like, what the heck? Come here, you. Come here. Let me freaking penetrate you. Why are you running away? Oh my god. There we go. Freaking finally. I hope you can swim, buddy. Oh, he's already exploding. What the heck? What the heck? What the heck? What the heck? Oh my goodness. I didn't realize we would be timed. I didn't realize we would be timed, but this boulder definitely looks like something we can blow up. So I'm gonna try again. I'm gonna hope for the best. I'm gonna try again and hope for the best. I think that's all we can do at the moment. Okay, let's run, run, run. Explode. There we go, we freaking did it. And what did we get? We got a red screw. And some experience. Nice. Okay, I don't think there is anything else to blow up, so let's go open the door. We freaking go. Okay, we freaking go. I should probably heal as well. I did lose a bunch of health. There we go. And here we are inside of a interesting looking building. If you had but a bubble or some other floating object, you can jump off of it. Just hit and hold down the jump button when you make contact. We in the business call it the butt jump. Oh, okay. I assume I did it wrong. Yeah, this is how we do it, okay. Is that a worm with many legs? No idea. Looks like a skeleton offering you a huge model of some sort of a bacteria. Cool. Did you hear that jingle sound? That probably means there is a chameleon mod nearby. They disguise themselves as objects and will only come out if you headbutt them. They are worth 5 XP. P.S. He isn't disguised as this lad. I already checked. There we go. We already found one of those. Ooh, it's that lady we talked with earlier on. Some nice landscape over here. Okay, 
another bacteria offer. It's a cool portrait. Can I break this? Apparently not. I wonder why it's in the corner over there. Though. Looks kind of suspicious, you know. Uh, let's see. Someone inside of a hump through wheel. A very evil cupcake. Alrighty. What's this? I couldn't move this bookshelf. See if you can do it. I freaking can. Let's go. If there will be secrets like this, I feel like I'm gonna lose a lot of them. Or not lose, but I suppose miss, you know. It's alright though. The King of Slimes. Yo, it's the Mushroom Land. Um, I couldn't think of anything to put here, so I drew you an octopus drinking exploding OJ. I didn't have any crayons left, so I drew it using pasta. P.S. Please don't try to lick the pasta, it took me over three hours. Doesn't seem like I can do anything over here. So... I suppose that's everything for this room and we should continue moving this way. If there is nothing in the air to jump off of, just try using the wall instead. Then do a headbutt to reach the leg. You don't even have to be facing the wall to jump, just being near it is enough. Just keep moving forward towards the ledge while near the wall and jump. Wait for real? Oh my god, it works. This is how we can get over in that thingy that I couldn't jump to. Okay, good to know. Number three. This is a level door. You can only break through it if your level is at least as high as the number, so go find more XP. Alrighty, alrighty. Um, let me go check what's to the right. From where we came from. Bunch of bubbles, there is some experience. I guess we can go into the water. Okay, I don't think this can be broken. Yeah, might as well try. Let's go reach this note. Slam to the left, spin to the right. Slam to the right, spin to the left. It's just basic physiometry. Oh, I see. That's pretty cool. Oh yeah, I need to do this thing. Another burp. I wonder if I can use the burp to break the cage. Probably. Answer is yes. So that's one out of two. I wonder... Yeah, there is definitely more stuff to do with the bird. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because I see this thingy over here. Nice. Was there anything else that was breakable? I'm not sure. This looks like a tough jump though. Looks like a very tough jump. Maybe I can do it from over here. There we freaking go, another red screw. I'm not sure what the red screws will be used for. But I'm definitely getting them all in this playthrough. Okay, I'm looking for breakable walls. Maybe there is something else we can do with the bird. Also, what's this? If you butt jump off an object, you can headbutt again and jump off more objects. 
So in order to have infinite jumps, you need to be in an area with a lot of bubbles. Got it, got it. Seems easy enough. Alrighty, alrighty. Let's do this. I did it wrong. My bad. You can go, you can jump off a wall in other directions too. See if you can wall jump to the left and then headbutt that bubble. I'm gonna give it a try. First things first, the button though. There we go. Well, I messed up. I messed up, that's for sure. That was clutch, that was clutch. Let's off the wall, do the thingy. There we go. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Let's see where this leads. Ooh, we can blow this up, I believe. We need the bird, though. That's not what I meant to do. This is what I meant to do. I need you to stand still, there we go. Don't worry about it, I just need to penetrate you for a little bit. There we freaking go. We did get hurt, but at least we got yet another experience point. 4 out of 8 trash cans and use headbutts to get from one pipe to the next. One of these pipes leads to the top, but I don't remember which one. Seems like our goat friend has a little bit of a typo in there. Okay. This is actually gonna be kind of rough I believe. Yo, the pipes are freaking slippery. That's spooky. That's spooky. No, I accidentally double jumped. This is gonna be rough to get through, I think. Maybe not, we will see. I accidentally double jumped again, why do I keep doing that? Why do I keep doing that? You only need to jump once. If you do it more than once, you will gonna have a bad time. Okay, we got the experience. No, I slipped. We are almost at level 2 though, so that's pretty nice. I wonder what will happen when we reach the level 2. Also, I fell. Maybe that's how we unlock the ability to dig or something. Because we did see one place where digging was required, you know. Why do I suddenly cannot jump over there? Must be a skill issue. Maybe if the pipes weren't so slippery, I wouldn't have this much difficulty with them. Okay. I think that pipe over there is where we need to go. God dang it, why is this so difficult? Why did they make the pipes slippery? I know that we have hoofs and it's probably hard to hold on to pipes with hoofs, but like, I don't know, can you equip some gloves maybe? Maybe that's one of the upgrades we will get. 
How the heck am I supposed to get to that pipe? Okay, let's try again. Let's try again. Also, by the way, I'm gonna be doing roughly two hour long episodes of this game because apparently it's not that long. If the Steam reviews are anything to go by, they seem to be mostly around like 8 hours or so, so I'm assuming we can do like maybe 5 episodes each 2 hours long or something. We will see. That pump, that, that, that pipe cannot be freaking grabbed. I swear. Can I do this? Oh my god. That's how you do this without slipping. You can headbutt into them. When in doubt, headbutt. Headbutt is the answer to all your troubles. Okay. Man, this makes it so much easier. You wouldn't believe. We finally made it. Holy moly. We are at the top of the world. Kind of. Kind of, kind of, not really. Let's see what this says. If you press against a surface as you jump, you can run up for a little extra height. That's maybe the only way you will grab this ledge. Ah, she doesn't know how to spell against, even I knew that. Oh, I see. Interesting. Very, very interesting. Ooh, there is some XP over here. I do like the effect of the leaves as you are walking through. It's a nice little detail, I would say. Let's see where this will take us. I have no clue where we are. I cannot break these, I don't think. Pepsi, nice. That's the door we were supposed to reach. And there is our lady. Hooray, you made it safe. What? How did you get up here before me? And since when can you fly? I cannot really fly. I'm just floating on the draft from this portal. Let me try that. That may not be a good idea. If you fell in there, it could be scramble all your particles. If you find a portal like this, I can bring you back here if you fall to your doom or wake up. So in other words, I will just come back here even if I do get scrambled. So let me have a turn. Sorry, it only works for me. Isn't it neat though? I call it the cornhole. I'm gonna stop you right there. You can go ahead and exit now or stay if you want to find more XP. You may need it. So anyway, look for me again outside. So that was the entire tutorial. We got achievement out of it. Love to see it. I kind of wanna go back to that area where that screw was now that I know I can climb them. There could definitely be something worth doing over there. There we go. Let's see what's this. This will turn on the boost rings. Headbutt through the rings and you will go pretty far, I think. Don't forget to jump when you hit the boost pad at the end, though. There we go. 
Okay, so that may get me, that, that will get me over there. What does this say? This will turn on multi jump pads. If you wall jump off one of these, it will let you wall jump again. It's too hard to jump to all of them. I cannot do it. This part is for experts only. At least it doesn't hurt to fall on those leaves though. Remember, you don't have to be sliding on a pad to jump. Just jump close to it, push the analog stick in the direction you want to jump and jump again. The same applies to all wall jumps as well. No, I pressed the wrong button. Oh well. It'd be like that sometimes. Ooh, okay. I almost had it. I almost freaking had it. That's gonna take a little bit of time to master the thing. Holy moly, we freaking did it. Six out of eight trash cans and another one of these. Let's freaking go. The leaves apparently don't hurt, so I should be safe to do this. There we go. And let's see. I see the XP over there. I assume we need to use this thingy to get it. Yep. Exactly what we needed to do. Cool, cool, cool. Before I go over there, let me go check what's this way. Because this doesn't look like the end. Ooh, I know where we are. There is that thingy I was talking about. It doesn't seem to lead anywhere. Too. Which is definitely curious. There is also seemingly a ledge directly underneath us that we might be able to jump to, maybe. I wanna go check what's over there, though, so... Let me read this again, because I already forgot. Headbutt through the rings. I did it. I freaking did it, let's go. You can maybe jump onto the mattress from up here, but try using those wall grab points to get back instead. Just walk slowly off the leg to grab it, then climb to the right side. Keep holding right at the end of the ledge to do a side jump. Side jump of each grab point until you get to the last one, then press ground to slide down. Sounds like a plan. Also, I just realized this whole mountain looks like a face. Also, I'm gonna stretch. Thank you. There we go. And I will also hydrate, I suppose. This is surprisingly scary to do, but we did it flawlessly. I am tempted to go through this door, but I am also tempted to check what this ledge is all about. You see it, right? Directly underneath us. 
There are some pipes over on this side as well. Maybe I can do something like this. Yo, we freaking did it. I don't think there was any way to get here from different sides. Uh oh, you got pretty high up. If you fall from up here, you could get really hurt. Make sure to find a way to climb back down or... Oh right, there is water down there. You can just jump into that also. Cool beans. A red screw is worth 3 XP. Headbutt it, then keep pressing action button to unscrew. A bit late to give me this tutorial, but all right. Um, I'm gonna do this. And I will go back up this way. Because I am genuinely curious. I guess I need to headbutt it again. That's alright. Now that I understand the controls a little better, I think we have a chance to do what I couldn't do before, maybe, potentially, and I also still want to check what this is. It doesn't seem to lead anywhere, like I am confused. There is definitely some sort of a secret with this, if I had to guess. We can figure that out later. Let's go back in here. And let me get this solved. So, seems like this reset completely. Thank you for the pipe bomb. Also, hello there, QD Ninja. I hope you are doing well. Okay, time to test the thingy. Hello, how are you? I am under the water. I Please mean, me. it seems like we can get over there, you know. It really seems like we can get over there, but I am having technical difficulties, I suppose. It seems doable though. Also, I am under the water. Thank you very much. Why is this so difficult? There must be a way to get over there, too. I feel like this must be doable, you know? How else are we supposed to get over there? It doesn't seem to work, too. Maybe if I do... This. I need to like bounce into the side of the wall, I think. Which doesn't seem to work for some reason. Yeah, he just falls down. I am having skill issues. Help me! Oh! See, that got us the height we needed, but I was a bit clumsy around it. That must be how we do it though. Thank you for the heart. No, that was close. That was freaking close though. You have to admit, that was the closest we have gotten so far. Thank you for the pets. Thank you, thank you. Yo, we freaking did it. Let's go. What take is this? 
laser beams. Of course, I freaking fell into the laser. Alrighty, alrighty, we got a screw. And another screw. Okay, okay, please. There we go. So that's everything there was to it. Now we need to get where the screws are. Am I the only one who finds it interesting that the socks is wearing a shoe? That is pretty interesting when you think about it. Okay. We freaking did it! Yet another red screw! And I think there was some more stuff upstairs that we couldn't do yet, but maybe now with our new set of skills I can figure out a way to do it, perhaps, perhaps. Let's see. Oh yeah, there is another red screw all the way to the top. And there is a leg over there. Alrighty, alrighty. How about I do this? I think that will work. I think that will work. But you know what else will probably work? Doing this. There we go. That's probably a better way to do it. 7 out of 8 trash cans. There is another ledge over there. This is gonna be a tough jump though. I don't know if I can do this. I surprisingly didn't take too much damage. Let me look around a little bit. I don't think there is any other way to get to that ledge. But I do think that's what they want us to do. They want us to jump off the corner and grab it. From underneath, most likely. It's gonna be rough. It's gonna be wobble. Let me go up here and look around a little bit. Okay, so we need to get over to that ledge. Although it seems like maybe we are supposed to get there from over there somehow. Question is, how the heck do I get over here? No. Um, up there is stuff. I guess we still need to come back later. There is also stuff up there, over there. I give up for now? I think I should. I think we need to learn how to deal with the fence or something before we can do stuff over there. I am taking massive damage. That's alright though. We broke the machine. 
Um, we need to go all the way back to where we were. It will be too difficult. I really hope we can go back though, because there is still unfinished business. Bunch of unfinished business. business. Okay. I really hope this remains open. It does. Can I do it first try this time around? Maybe, maybe. Definitely seems like maybe I can. Finally I mastered the pipe. It's about time, I suppose. Oh, this is not a ledge, I see. Okay. Kind of wanna do one more of those mirrors. I hope we find some along the way. Here we are back near the door, and I just noticed there is a screw on the wall. Yo, that's what this thingy is for. There is this massive shortcut I could have taken. That's pretty cool. Okay, okay. I like this effect, like from one side there is nothing, from front there is something. It's pretty cool. We are in the parking lot, alrighty, alrighty. I am suspicious of this car for some reason. Also, this looks like a target. Maybe not. That's where we originally came from. I don't think we are supposed to leave just yet. This trash can doesn't count to the... main objective, I suppose. Yeah, let me heal up. Actually, I'm pretty good health-wise. Thief! Ah, why do you put the portal next to the dumpster? Um, well, I wanted to be sure you see that door over there. I think that will lead out of this dream realm. Hey, I ain't leaving until I get my nachos. Um, well, I, um, I had to expel all the nachos to fit the park in there, so... What? But listen, somewhere out there is a realm with infinity nachos. Infinity nachos, oh yeah. We gotta get through that door first though, but I don't know how to open it. It must have something to do with that scary symbol on it. But I don't think there is anything like that in this parking lot. There is got to be somewhere else we can get to in this realm. Just look around and don't forget your training, little corn cadet. Okay, but don't ever call me that again. Okay. Remember to talk to me if you need any help figuring out what to do. Talk to me twice even. I do know what to do here though. There must be something I cannot see from here. Which is a hint hint nudge nudge. That is probably on the other side of the building I assume. Also hello there microtonal man. Hello, hello, hello. I hope you are doing well. Let me give you a shout out. Holy moly. It's going pretty well. We are currently playing the Corn Kids 64, which is a very, very lovely game. I am heavily enjoying it. There is a freaking button on the roof. And I keep messing up my buttons. 
Ooh. Who doesn't like some low polygon sewers? Definitely a place to be. Do they want me to jump over there somehow? I also haven't tried this door over here. Uh, this door cannot be opened. Okay. There is a hole in the fence that I didn't see. Well, that certainly explains it. Certainly explains it. Was there anything else on this side of the fence? Doesn't, doesn't seem like it. You had a pretty good time with it. The tower climbing feels good. This is my first time playing it. I remember seeing someone stream it. And I put it on my wish list. And now I finally decided to buy it and stream it. So I'm very excited. To see what it's all about. Onyx will be RB. Alrighty, alrighty. We are level 2 XP Ancient Pack. Old Hollows Hollow. Alrighty, alrighty. Hey, over here. Need a right to the top of the trees? Seems safe. This seems very, very safe. Aha, sucker. Now you are trapped up there. Well. If you say so. That's another XP for us. I see another one of those screws. I can prob probably jump over there, right? Well, apparently not. I tried to. Tried my best. Let's go climb this tree. Ooh, an intruder has set foot on the grounds of our sacred tree. This is a grave threat to our entire town. Go home, emo hawk. How does he know I am emo? Or you may find yourself with no home to go back to. You, you. Oh. It is a goat type. Oh, yo, new friend, all are welcome here in Old Hollow's Hollow. Stay a while, bring some friends. We can always use some new blood to help wash out the old piggy type influence, which still festers here after hundreds of years. But please remember, do try and keep away from this tree. We owls have important work to do and mustn't be disturbed, do you understand? Oh, and also keep away from high up places like that pointy building over there. That has been rated unsafe by the old committee, only looking out for your best interest. Have you got all that? No? Oh, it's, it will just repeat the same thing already. I figured maybe the owl would get like mad or something, you know. Ah, uh, yes. I shall repeat it again regardless so it is firmly imprinted in your mind forever. Oh my god, what the heck. Okay, okay, I'm leaving. That's actually funny. I wonder if the owl did that on purpose because I had it repeated once before, maybe. Or if it was just a coincidence. Either way, either way. Pretty, pretty funny. So, I am kind of overwhelmed. There is so many places to go. So 
many places to go. Also, what does this say? Lasagna festival is cancelled. Oh no, I absolutely love lasagna. Ah wow, why did they cancel the lasagna festival, daddy? No, son. You know owls cannot digest lasagna. Sometimes you just have to be the bigger man. But I want lasagna, daddy. No, son. That's quite enough. You need to learn how to develop a thicker skin. Only then you can hope to become a doormat like myself. What does that even mean? A doormat like myself. Saint E. Knurts Trinkets. Let's go check that out. Is that a shop? It is a shop. Okay. It can actually hurt you. I figured I would try. Yo. I wouldn't touch that fish that came from the haunted lake in the graveyard. It keeps repeating some ghastly song, not to mention some guy named Sniggy sold it to me. Sniggy, what kind of name is that? I still wanna hear the song though, come on. Let me get some music. Yo, what take is that? Is that a duck on a string, but a 2D sprite? I wonder what's the meaning behind that. Okay, you know what, let's talk to you. Yo, boy, the name is Saint Ezra Knurt. I would tell you to buy something or get out, but I am a saint after all, so look as long as you like. Holy moly, is that a dog smoking a joint and celebrating birthday at the same time? In some sort of a swamp? That's the cutest thing I ever seen. Must sell at Talest Sum, you know? Definitely be like that sometimes. There is a grabbable ledge over there. Alrighty, alrighty. I see what we need to do. We need to wall jump over here. There we go. I'm not sure what to do here though. I kind of wanna check. We can use this rope. It doesn't do anything, but uh, we can use it. Good to know, I suppose. It do be a pushover. Okay. I can make that jump, but not from over here. I need a wall jump, I think. I broke your trash can. Maybe we cannot do this at the moment. Maybe we need to unlock some mystical power or something. Let me check what does this thing do. It'd be bouncy. It'd be bouncy, but what for? The more I explore, the more questions I have. I'm gonna try this jump. Yeah, that's too dang far away. Maybe I can... 
No, the bird hurts. The bird hurts. Yeah, let's come back later. I don't think we can do anything. I don't think we can do anything over there. Let's talk to you. Hey, out there, boy. Did you know? Creaky floorboards might have something hidden underneath them. I'm gonna keep that in mind. All bears bellow welcomed those owls to our town, but when they insisted the annual Lazana festival be cancelled, he outright refused. Made some kind of witty proclamation about it, cannot quite remember. Them owls magically transformed him into a god dang salami and hung him over from the tree. A warning that nobody better ever do what he did ever again. I am concerned. Can we eat the salami, I wonder? Will that automatically make us the next mayor? Maybe. Special offer, bring back five bottle caps for a free miracle tonic. Ready, alrighty. I see a screw over there. Not really sure what to make of it. Olo is mildly unpleasant. There is a piggy over here. I'm not sure what to do about that though. Do I need to do it from this side maybe? Oh, you need to jump for it to work. Okay, okay. Let me go grab that red screw. I think I got it in the perfect position for that. Indeed, indeed. Nice. Sacrificed some health, but that's alright. Now we can get to the other side. Maybe if there is one of those explosive birds, we can rescue that piggy with that, potentially. Who knows though, who knows? Speaking of explosive birds, there he is. Let me penetrate you please. Stop moving, oh my goodness. They are so hard to penetrate. So freaking hard. Oh my god. There we go. Let me try kill this turtle. Ooh, that's how we get up there, I see. Cool, cool, cool. I don't think this really leads anywhere else. I think he's mad. I would be mad as well, you know. That's for sure. Let me go try explode the piggy down there. Yo, it freaking worked. Thanks, I was probably trapped in that owl pellet for a week. I did find this neat thingy though. Let's freaking go. 
getting closer and closer to level 2. Also, I didn't notice there was a whole cavern over here. How do I do this? That's how we do it, okay, okay. Two question marks over here. Not really sure what for. Well, I did something somewhere, but I don't know what did I do. I'm gonna let the timer run out. I need to double check what it did, what it did, because I didn't see what it did. Was it something with the fountain or something behind the fountain? It's gonna be hard to escape from. I don't even know where the fountain is. Okay. Oh, it increases the fountain. I see, I see. Okay. Let's continue. I perish. It happens. Didn't even realize we had a checkpoint over here. Cool, cool, cool. So, let me look around. Where is the fountain? There is the fountain. And the thingy for with the screw is directly underneath it. Alrighty, alrighty. I think this will be doable. I think this will be doable. I just need to be better with the time to jumps. There we go. 30 seconds is plenty of time, I would say. Plenty of time, okay. 20 seconds remaining. There isn't any sprint button. At least not that I am aware. Oh, I missed. God dang it. You know, if I didn't miss... I would already have it in my inventory. So I'm gonna try again. Definitely seems doable. Okay. Let's begin go. 30 seconds. That's alright, that's alright. We can take the damage. As long as we don't lose the time. So far we only died twice though, which is surprising. There we go, we did it. We did it in the end. And what do you have to say for yourself? Ugu that lived over there used to go all the way up to the cliff, but now there is rocks in the way. You cannot blow them up either. I already tried. Don't tell mommy. Aha, aha, a house about a spin. Sure. Well, at least it wasn't spinning counterclockwise. That would really make me barf.
What if I do it, do it again? Will something happen? Also, that wall has a crack in it, I just noticed. Okay, he doesn't spawn in any more of those experience thingies. We need explosive bird over there. Which I'm not sure where we can find. Why did you have to bring him back? Bring who back? LOL, thanks again for the save. Did you know you look like Piggy Duke Nukem? I don't know who that is. Oh, that's the guy we saved uh, down there. I suppose if we came here, came, came here first, he would maybe mention something about him being stuck or something. We need a wheel. Yeah, we need a crank. Okay, okay, okay. Let's look around a bit more. Some free experience. Don't mind if I do. I assume all of these gates are closed for now. What does this button do? No idea. I don't think I can crouch. That might be something we learn when we level up or something. Ah, uh, there is also another place to dig. Something tells me that guy has something to do with the door we saw. You mean the fact that he looks exactly like it? Oh, I think he does. Maybe, but first don't ask me why, but you need to find a way to get to that big drill up there. I just feel I like I can identify with that building somehow, don't know what it is. Poor Percy had the idea to turn this old building into a giant musical machine, one that will play a song them hours hate. Too bad the idiot installed the crank backwards, then somebody opened up the top during a storm and it flooded up good, poor old Percy. We don't bolted up the crank so that don't happen again. Cool. Cool story. There we go. Can I do this? I can. I don't know if I can make that jump over there though. I suppose it doesn't hurt to try. Actually it does hurt if you miss. But that's besides the point. I'm gonna try again. Feel. Like, it might be doable. I just need to time it a little better, I suppose. There is some mattress over there, but there doesn't seem to be... ...anything... ...to grab on, you know. Who knows? Let's go this way. Okay, there is a ledge over here, I think. But it seems like it needs to get activated or something. It doesn't look like it will open. Is that door just painted on the wall? Maybe this lever has something to do with... Oh yeah, this makes the ledge over there appear. So I need to push something over here, I think. Yeah, 
maybe. Not really sure what they want me to do. Let's go check over here. There is some more Pepsi. I do need to heal up. That's for sure. I see one of the bottle caps we need. That's good, I suppose. Other than that, I am slightly confused. What does this bird do when we hit him? He's too far up, I don't think I can hit him. I haven't actually tried to climb the tree, so let me try doing that. Maybe that will unlock some new revenues for us. Then again, maybe not, maybe not. There is also a thingy over here. Ooh, there is a bunch of experience over there. I don't think I can reach this street though. If I had explosive bird over here, I could maybe do it with the turtle, but since I don't have that ability at the moment, I don't think that's where we are meant to go. The confusion strikes again. We did make a lot of progress though. We even reached level 2. So I'm quite happy with what we accomplished. Also, is it just me or did this have a crack in it. It does. We might need to explode it maybe, or we need to headbutt it from the angle at which the crack is located. I could see either of those options be the correct solution. It's definitely not the headbutt. I'm gonna try again though. Yeah. We need explosions. Where is the closest exploding bird? I know one is over there on the other side of this wall. I don't really see any other bird around here. I do see the experience point though. There we go. Let's also talk to this piggy over here. The church doors won't open until midnight by a request of the owls. Oh, those owls really follow your religion? Uh, well, no, but I'm sure they have a perfectly good reason. I know I gotta go through there to be getting around this gate. Hmm, how about I press this button? No, it's timed. I really dislike timed challenges because I always get bamboozled. Always. 20 seconds, okay. Always getting bamboozled. Oh, 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 oh. 
Yo, we did it first try, what the heck? That's actually insane. Alrighty, alrighty. That's one door open. Do I wanna go anywhere from here? I kind of wanna land on that tree, but I think that's too far away. So instead, I'm gonna do this. Simple and yet effective. And let's go see what's inside of this shirt. Since we cannot seem to be able to do anything else at the moment. Church of the Dog God. And the Lord said unto him. We panic in a pew. Daddy, can we switch seats? Maybe after the next sermon. Do all God no evil deed, life on and do good. Okay, they have both the same dialogue. Isn't it blasphemy to have those owls doing that in here? Huh? I don't know. But they are offering free grilled cheese to everyone who sits through the sermon today. We grilled cheese. Yo, are you really just going to let that owl keep crapping on you? Hey, he may be crapping on me, but that has nothing to do with the fact he is an owl. Makes sense, I suppose. My son, church attendance has declined drastically in recent months. Nobody knows why. Really? Nobody knows why? Oh, other than God, of course. Alrighty, alrighty. And well, here is what I'm thinking. Wow. I think we need to do something like this. Live on time, emit no evil. Sounds like a plan. No son, a bat tuba, no son. What are they talking about? Name cards, no medieval slave, I demonstrate man. We panic in a pew. Good for you, I suppose. Good for you. Wow. I almost missed. That would have been unfortunate. But there is stuff on both sides. Thank you for the checkpoint. You are... I think you can be impaled. Yes, you can. Doesn't seem to do anything, though. I think I still have full HP. Do I go that way or do I go... elsewhere? I'm not sure. This is gonna be a difficult jump though, I can already tell. Don't know if I can even do it. Maybe I can use the owls somehow. That's absolutely what you need to do. Alrighty, alrighty. L and R triggers while falling, you will still get hurt a bit from the fall too. I wanna pick up that thingy over there. There we go. 
Taco Kid won't lovers revolt now, Taco Kid. This is absurd. I can get behind, just pure nonsense. Just like the normal church, I suppose. No! I shouldn't have talked shit about the church. I've been smitten by the god. Let's go. Let's freaking go. Let's go this way. I think it, I can get up there, but it might take a couple of tries. It might take a couple of tries. Never mind, we already got there where we wanted. It almost seems like it continues further up because there is one of those green buttons over there. And there are ledges over there, but I don't know. There is also a button over there. There is also experience and ledge over there. Let's see where this leads. Uh, to the roof of the church. Okay, okay. Let me try doing something, I suppose. It's not what I meant to do. Maybe we need to have some additional ability before we can do some of these parkour challenges. That owl is in the wrong spot. There we go. Yeah, that thingy is a bit too high up. I thought maybe if we bounce off the owls, we would be able to... Uh, we would be able to do what I wanted to do, but... I think we need some sort of a power-up before we can start doing that. Probably, probably. So I'm just gonna escape from this church for now, through that door over there. Let's see where that takes us. You actually need oxygen to breathe, that's pretty cool. So if I stand in the smoke, I will die. I don't see that kind of mechanic too often in a game. Especially one that is emulating old school... Saturn sees Natasha, what the heck do you mean by that? When well, did I live said I, said I as evil I did deliver? I'm not really sure how to respond to this sermon. May a moody baby do my own? Yeah. What does he mean by that? Are we not drawn onward with you, drawn onward to new era? The era of the goat kids, I suppose. Oh, my God. 
I might be able to make that jump, but... It's a bit risky, I would say. A bit too risky. Okay, so this takes me on the other side of the... of the fence. Honestly, I didn't see the spikes over there. It's my bad. The door has been opened. Let's go, what's this? Yo, I know exactly what we need to do with this. We need to push it to that button we saw. I am like 900% sure. Man, I am slipping a lot around these parts. There we freaking go, nice. Thank you for the Pepsi. Now, how did I get up there again? Did I go through here maybe? Um, yes, I think I did. I am really enjoying this game. It's a lot of fun. Very, very nostalgic in a way. And also the atmosphere is just absolutely freaking amazing. You know. Exactly my type of game. I honestly wish there was more games like this. Thank you for the checkpoint. Um, I'm not sure where they want me to go from here. I'm gonna assume just simply go down this way. Actually, you know what? This might be... Ooh, nice. No idea how to get over there. I was pressing the warp buttons, but it didn't work. Maybe I don't understand how the warping is supposed to work. Also, I seen ice in this bush. Let's go. That was a well hidden one. I just seen eyes from the distance and figured I would try to headbutt it. I didn't even realize it was one of those chameleon creatures. Pretty, pretty cool. I wonder if I missed some other ones along the way. They are quite well hidden, I would say. Why didn't he grab the leg? Oh well. He's alright. He's alright. Let me spin this thingy. Get up here. Actually, I think I see what they want me to do. Ok, 
Okay, that puts him over there. No. Once again, I was pressing the teleport, but it didn't work. I must be doing it wrong. The problem is, I don't know what I am doing wrong, you know. I do be almost dead, so this is the last attempt. If I fall again, I'm gonna parry. That's for sure. And also, I will need to end the episode soon, because as I said once before, I wanna do these roughly two hour long. Why didn't he jump? Oh my god, we did it. Successful teleportation. But I died. Successful teleportation, but I freaking died. It'd be like that sometimes, I suppose. I am bad at this game. No doubt about it. Okay. You get booked. You get booked. Okay, now that both owls are over there, I am a bit more confident that we can make this jump. Let's give it a try. Oh, let's go, it worked. Hello. I swear I just saw a bat swoop down. Are you sure about that? Maybe not, it's hard to tell with these bars in the way. Was it a bar or a bed I saw? You saw a bed? Beds do congregate around steeples after all. I know the preacher said they have a problem with them on top of the church anyway. If someone were able to reach that big bar leading to the roof they could go check if I am right. Otto are you encouraging children to engage in death defying stunts again? Oops. Forget I said that, kids. This is another place where it seems we need to learn how to crouch in order to be able to grab that pipe. I cannot really do that though. At the moment. There we go. So we need to do the pipe some other time. Also did you notice, teleporting completely resets what you were doing. So it's almost better not to teleport in some situations perhaps. Who knows? That was horrible. Okay. I got to the ledge. There is a screw. That's a very unfortunate placement for a screw, because it forces you to fall back down. But that's alright. Sometimes it be like that, I suppose. Also, you are back. How is it going? It do be going. 
I am about to end the stream, I think. Potentially. Um, I don't know where to go from here. Yeah, I have no clue. Just like I have no clue about that ledge over there. Ooh, there is a screw underneath the roof though. That's interesting. I'm gonna do this. To get back to the checkpoint. It will kill me, but that's alright. I should respawn next to it anyways. So it shouldn't be too much of an issue. There we go. It seems like we have unlimited lives, so we might as well abuse it a little bit. I cannot believe my plan worked. That's insane. I really thought this wouldn't work. Okay. How do we get over there? I assume by doing this, maybe. Nice. I don't think I'm missing anything. So let's go down. Yes, I'm gonna keep on dying. Now, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna end the episode. I just wanna make sure everything gets safe. So let me go... Stand next to the checkpoint. Which I assume is what saves the game. And also there is a safe end quit, so maybe that's what we need to do. Current objective, reach drill tower. So yeah, that's what we're gonna do next time. Thank you so much for watching the first episode of Corn Kid 64. This will definitely, hopefully, be a completionist playthrough, so feel free to, you know, turn up for the next episodes. I am heavily enjoying this, and I am excited to see what happens next, but until then, bye bye.